Hi everybody, my name is Denek and I'm one of two developers working on this game uh, named uh, Railroad. Uh, it's a train dispatcher simulator going into early access on 23rd of June. Uh, it's close, so uh, keep watching and uh, I will tell you everything. What the game is about? Uh, it's hard to tell. It's uh, unique. It's something you have not seen for a while, maybe never. Uh, we wanted to create a game that uh, is not here yet, so it's kind of a management, tycoon, sandbox, automation, maybe a city builder game. Well, a train dispatcher simulator, right, uh, you see a projection of a rail network and you are controlling the traffic there, you are sending trains over switches uh, along signals to their destinations, to their stations. Uh, so uh, that's just the beginning, that's the controlling part, right? And if you do this job well, I mean the trains are uh, without delay and uh, according to their timetable, you are earning some cash and experience for this. So you have the cash, right? And uh, where do you spend it? You go shopping. You line the tracks, you upgrade your speeds, you build your uh, new building elements and you reach new stations. And then there are the experience points. They are used to unlock the upgrades. And the upgrades, they are like sweets. You want them all, you want them now. Uh, every upgrade is designed to help you handle more, like uh, more of a traffic or handle it uh, more easily, be more efficient. So you are operating the traffic, right? But uh, where the traffic comes from? Mm. From the contracts. Uh, you can accept them and uh, then you operate the trains in the contract. There are different types of contracts, uh, but the most common are recurrent ones. Uh, these are special. They repeat every hour. So uh, when you accept the contract, you run the first train. It will record uh, its uh, journey. And then you will see this train every hour, every hour in game. And uh, while you grow, your, your traffic also grows. You can reject some contracts, but uh, it's, it's kind of uh, magic to see uh, uh, your traffic like uh, growing uh, with you. You're remembering uh, the traffic from the previous hour, maybe. Yeah, you're happy if you, if you can remember that. Uh, so it's uh, kind of uh, uh, a good feel to, to, to grow on these. And everything I have covered uh, until now is just a one game mode in the game. It's uh, called Endless Mode. There is also another mode. And it's called Timetable Mode. Uh, and that's just uh, where you can operate a predefined timetable on a, on, a, on a different maps and be as precise as possible and reach some uh, high score. So uh, it's uh, kind of uh, more similar to, to real train dispatcher work. Uh, it's maybe a little puzzle mode. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the timetable mode. And a good thing is uh, we have included the map editor. So you can create your own maps, endless as well as timetable one. And you can share them uh, with uh, Steam Workshop with the others. Not in the demo, but in the in early access version, yeah. And well, uh, that's it. Uh, that's just uh, the basics. Yeah, that, that uh, there are a lot of uh, more to cover, but uh, I will stop uh, stop here and maybe say something about our future plans. Like uh, the first big uh, update will bring in the shunting. It will change the game uh, a lot, especially in the endless mode, but as well as in the timetable mode. So uh, you will be able to shun the games uh, on some tracks uh, and left uh, them uh, there for later use. You will be able to uh, dismantle the locomotives uh, and shuffle the cars and uh, there will be a new game mode uh, freight yard and that's it uh, I would advise you to try the demo 
and see yourself. It's a unique experience. You need to put hands on. Uh, don't rush it. Play it relaxed and find your own way how to play that. It's a sandbox, right? So uh, there are like more ways how to enjoy that. And if you like it, don't forget to buy the game on 23rd of June. That's our early access release date. Find out. Uh, it's uh, it can be addictive. Uh, be careful.